Hi, my Jemmies. Here we are again. Welcome to your December reading, Love and Career. Um, remember that these are general readings, so it might resonate with you partially, completely, or maybe not at all. And remember, this is to reach the people who really, really, really need um, your spiritual, their spiritual guidance. Um, so let's start. So for my Jemmies, how is going to be going to start with the love life and let's see how it's going to be for us in December, our present, how it's going to be present. So let's see. I just feel this one. Present. Ooh. 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 I was going to say recent past, so it does make sense for me, so I have to pick them up. So what is coming around the corner? Oh, okay, all right, it does make sense. Now what's going to be the foundation? Totally makes sense. What is going on? The best case scenario. Oh, how you see yourself. Good, Jemmy. Outside influences. Two. Okay. Oh, no wonder. Um, some fears, hopes, and fears. And our outcome. Oh. Jemmys, let's start. First of all, I'm going to say everything from where everything is started, the foundation of the situation we were going to be in uh, this month of December is going to be the Two of Pentacles. And uh, the Two of Pentacles uh, is saying that someone over here it's going to be juggling between one or two things maybe one or two people um or one or two situations thing is like trying to find that uh middle part of harmony right so this is why we are going to be in the situation we are going to be in december is because of this and the recent past i got this it fell off so definitely it's for us there is someone that was not willing to actually speak up about their emotions. It was very close. Uh, I think in the last month of November, we were in that situation, right? The things start changing. Sorry, um, uh, changing. So um, I'm having incoming calls. So um, I don't even want to touch the screen because I'm afraid that every time I touch it for some reason something changes so i don't know hopefully you can see me because i can see if you can see me so anyway so yeah whoever called me which is telemarkers or whatever cut the video so anyway in the recent past i see someone was not able to speak up their emotions not basically uh being a little bit very immature a bit not speaking up not saying anything maybe both of you were doing that or someone in general was not speaking up the truth but I see uh, there was not really an offer there of you know the cup of love if you see this cup of love something is not being offered um, but then the justice came in and I will say almost at the end of December so things kind of change. Something started getting a little fair between you and this other person. I mean, it happened to me. So when I see this, I kind of like laugh because it seems like a lot of my situation where I would just pass through. And it's true. You know, like you were feeling, you know, there's nothing offering uh, love to you. Someone is not offering love. Someone is not speaking up. And then, boom, the Justin came in and things start, start changing and you might be dealing with a Libra that's why the justice card says this is a Libra you might be dealing also with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo uh, Taurus Virgo it's a lot of earth here and a Scorpio 
but mainly I see a lot of earth sign Libra uh, anything could be anything even 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 Sagittarius Aries or Leo but something new is coming in and I will tell you so if you were dealing for example with a Libra that's what it was just you know something came in with this justice card right and it brought harmony okay and things have started getting a little fair right in the situation and then we enter December with this ace of pentacles and that's great because the ace of pentacles is saying like someone is putting in the effort someone is investing new things are coming in maybe a new job also something a new offer I would stick with love but this is a good thing because it has value so it might be something new that is coming in on December when someone is really putting into the effort and investing a bit in this relationship and I see the justice card and when it fell off I really picked the one behind because this is exactly what was going on until the justice came in basically with the universe came in justice came in boom and something happened that someone decided to give a chance and to be fair in the relationship so things start getting a little more harmonious more even equal taking giving and then you enter in December when there is an investment here. However, whatever is coming at the end, I mean, around the corner, the energy is going to be betrayal. Something is going on. You're going to feel betrayal or someone is going to betray you in a certain way. And I and I came up with this one with the Page of Swords. And I see what it, what it means with the Page of Swords. Um, with the Page of Swords uh, in reverse. In reverse, I think it's just, um, it means like... There's going to be kind of like a type of immature uh, person coming in. Maybe even though you've been invested, I think someone is going to be a little bit more immature. Someone is going to be very, uh going to your stuff. Someone is going to spy the other. I think it's a lot of spying, a lot of stalking. Maybe you feel like this person is going to be stalking you. You're going to be stalking the other person's page in any way. There's criticism. Uh, I feel like someone is criticizing the other in a certain way or things are going to start changing a bit or something's going to happen maybe it's great you guys going to be invested but some type of energy is coming in you or the other person someone's going to feel betrayed you know and I think maybe because there's no trust I feel like there's something a lack of trust that is going on here and this is why the page of source and reverse is here because saying like um like someone is not taking not taking a no for an answer or not uh willing to it's like like a I don't I feel like there's something in information that you're trying to gather or you or the other person a lack of trust of trying to get into your business all the time and this is why someone is feeling betrayed. But the best case scenario, whatever is coming in is crowning you, is the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is actually very good because the Knight of Cups means like, you know, someone is offering you love. Uh, someone is coming in and if it's not with a certain person, can be someone else. Because if I see some type of betrayal going on here or someone is just being like, Ah, stalking you hardcore. You stalking the other person because you're like, I want to know what's going on. You know, like, I know something going on here. Like, we're getting better. Someone is investing. We kind of like giving equal taking, you know. But something is going on around the corner. And I think it has to be what, you know, you kind of like really like trying, maybe jealousy involved too. Trying to gather all the information that you want to know more about this person and what is he doing or she's doing maybe that's not good neither and this is why you're going to feel betrayed maybe because you just maybe you too much into someone's business or the person is going to be too much into your business so the knight of cups is basically saying you know what there is um someone is really offering love and bringing love to you so please be careful but i know that how you see yourself or the other person is seeing you with a lot of value you know, very stable emotionally, even um, maybe financially. Maybe you're going to start feeling stable financially. This could also mean that 
something's going on with your work so i'll figure that when we go toward the job description after this um and this is the external influences someone is going to be very detached but at the same time it's coming out of the depression feeling negative and the relationship um you might definitely be dealing with someone who is a libra or aries or cancer but this is more like an aries i mean aries i mean more like a libra type of a gemini uh this very airy detachment so even though there's that love offering if it's not you it's the other person is still being a little detached it's just someone that is not too much into you know lovey-dovey thing and in either way it just if it's detached or not it just doesn't matter but there is something coming here which it means like getting more positive so something a type of energy where it was negative is going to be coming uh different is going to be more positive remember this justice came in and it seems like it's still kind of be dragged into this month of december so it's going to be kind of good okay even though you feel this way i feel it's more like a feeling that it really you're going to be betrayed i don't think you're going to be betrayed it's just because someone is getting into your business or you're getting into other person's business do not get into someone's business relax okay and what are your fears your fears is getting stuck in a relationship or you want to stay in this relationship with this person or but you know what it seems like someone is not moving away no matter what because this card is like yeah i'm moving out i'm looking for something more meaningful in my life or a meaningful relationship here no I think your fears is may, maybe that you're going to be stuck in a relationship that it will not be that meaningful to you. Like, it's not going to be very much into this valuable new thing going on. But at the same time, you want to still stick with this relationship and think that it might be something of value. So the outcome, the entire outcome, and at this point is the A's and wants, which is great because that means that is a renewal and love. I mean, not in love. I, I mean, it's more like passion, okay? But look what we have. We have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Wands. And you know what? It might be someone new coming into the picture that is offering this new love. Or it could be like that person that you've been dealing with finally got this justice card and even though it was not offering anything is now willing to bring some value to this relationship so please stop stalking realize that you are very valuable keep being in this positive external emphasis from the universe stick around try to look at the value add start that new passion coming i mean allow this new passion this new start to come to you which is there's a potential here um is an eye opening type of card where great ideas are coming in and this is the type of energy that you will receive or you will give right at the end of december so we still doing great because i'm pretty sure we were having this great shift and it is that's why we have the justice card so it's a great reading, Gemini. It's a great reading. Now, um, I know I always do this at the end, but I'm just going to do it right now. And I want to see what is the card of how you deal with this. How you deal with this. Oh, listen. You see, trust. Stop this stuck in thing. We need to believe that it is actually happening. I know someone was not offering someone is going to offer love and we are lacking of trust didn't i say that didn't i say that didn't i say that i thought it was someone was just not trusting and is getting into your business that someone is going to be hurt so it's not good when we start talking the other person for no reason like there's something new going on relax it says trust you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. You see, you see, for some reason, I felt like I needed to do this before the work. So trust that is our guidance for this month, Jemmy's. Trust that this is going on. The universe is bringing us justice. The other person is changing. Things are going better. So let's give the chance to trust. You know what? When it comes to work, uh, you see something is going on but 
something is coming very quick and actually we're gonna be a little bit deterred with all the challenges at least at work it's like uh, we're gonna feel like overload a little bit so if you've been working a lot maybe you're gonna start feeling a little bit overload in December but there's something going on quickly um, that actually is gonna be something about uh, news something that is gonna be let me see let me let me kind of like see what is this ace of winter and you see we have a lot of beginnings we have the ace of pentacles we have the ace of wands and now we have the ace of swords which it has to be with mentality news beginnings oh king of summer oh my god so yeah there's someone else coming in in the picture definitely it might be this person bringing in some news when it comes to work you're going to be a little bit overload but you're going to feel very confident anyway but it's something going on here if you are dealing with someone at work it might be like this person is bringing you a lot of passion and it's a lot of the cards fell off but the only thing i can tell you is yeah we might be a little bit overload at work we're going to receive news a lot of news but i see to the queens of odom so don't worry about it there's nothing changing in the career. Things are gonna stay still how it is. And you might feel a little bit down when it comes to your work and responsibilities. Maybe you've been working too much, so you're gonna feel it on December. But there's something coming out to you, a lot of news, and is related to your love life. And that kind of make you feel very lucky and maternal and practical. And you're gonna proceed in a different way. So that's gonna be great when it comes to your work. Everything, you know, it's not going to be like, wow, so beautiful. And you're going to be a little bit overload. But the news about this new love coming in, it kind of like it's going to make you feel, oh, it's okay. It's all right. I'm a little, you know. And it might be someone very charming. Um, and this new, whatever is coming in, is coming so quick. And it has nothing to do with your job. It has nothing to do with your job. It's someone else. Okay, but in case you... It happens in your job now you know it could be either way someone from the outside or someone inside the job you are working that suddenly is going to be like something you never expected and this person comes and like hey I think you're precious and beautiful and you're gonna be like what you know and even though you're gonna be very overload and tired that's gonna kind of change your perspective to see things you get like wow I haven't feel this way like it's things are changing when it comes to our love life Gemini's I'm telling you things are getting better so let's take a deep breath <sighs> finally finally because we've been struggling a lot yep and it's funny because it could be someone else with this new passion it could be a Sagittarius series in Leo and it's funny because I I did think you know the person that I met is you know anyway it's Sagittarius so anyway so guys I wish you a great holidays and I hope all of this comes true in December and we do have a new love coming in or the person we've been wanting to be with really finally decides to give us an offer of love okay and uh, or if you need to give the offer give the offer anyway um, I want to let you know guys that if you checked down here below this description of the video I leave a link if you can donate whatever amount it will be I'll be completely uh, thankful for it and it's gonna help me to continue to bring to you the spiritual guidance a uh, free spiritual guidance every month and keep continue in my channel um, also if you want to if you want a personalized reading you can order your uh, personalized reading through the same link okay so guys don't forget to share comment give me a like and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching the video and to be part of my life wish you much love much light and i'll see you in the mid month or if not i'll see you um on january and hopefully this new year it's beautiful with a lot of prosperity prosperity and love and our dreams come true. Ciao.